Hey, how's it going, boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another character impression. This time is the uh, collab. Our Gintama collab characters. We're going to go through them. We're going to test them out in shite. So uh, first, we have the Shinsengumi dudes, which is uh, Hijikata and uh, Sogo, those two boys. I did level them quite a bit, as you can see. <laughs> My uh, EMP is quite leveled. Because uh, I was sliming them because I had no other characters to slime and I was sliming my Neo. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, they are... Okay, I didn't get any upgrades, right? Okay, so their HP is 1500. They have 7200 attack. They are Katana and a gun. Alright, they are attack based. And yes, alright. So, Ogi is live by the sword, die by the sword. Massive fire damage to a foe and cooldown for Cursed Blade, Muramasha, and Sin Sengumi Bazooka. <laughs> Alright. Wait, what? So it ends the cooldown for his first and second skill? So the first skill is the Cursed Blade of Muramasha. For hit the fire damage to random foes, boost to casters, attack and defense stackable. Oh wow, can be removed? Oh, this is a event character too. Wow, not bad. <laughs> Alright, so the Shin Sengumi Bazooka. Oh, they have four skills. Sinsengumi Bazooka is 700% uh, fire damage to a foe, 30% boost to Tuster's charge bar. Oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> what the hell is this icon? <laughs> Mr. Skill is just the way. Fire damage to all foes, blind effect and paralyzed effect. I see. Okay, not bad, I suppose. Hijikata Special. Re fully restore Tuster's HP, remove all uh, debuffs. Hit to debuff resistance for three turns. I see. Wow, 14 turns though. <laughs> and Officer's Pride, deal multi attacks. Boost to casters, attack, and CA damage based on the number of main allies. Okay. So as long as everyone's alive, they get just extra damage. And they have guaranteed double attack. You're under arrest when switching to main ally. Instant CA standby to Shinsegumi can be reactivated. Oh, this is not really that important, I suppose. Aha! Huh, okay, so... Alright, the numbers are... This one is... 10, 100k. 100k base cap. 10% each. Not too bad. This one is 700k base cap. Alright, not too bad either. This one is 635k base cap, sure. Not that freaking long, I suppose, cooldown wise. Okay. They didn't say how much was it, huh? They didn't say how much is this lowered, but okay. Deals, multi attacks, okay. Perpetuity modifier! Oh wow, that's actually not bad. One other main ally. So each ally gives 5%. 5% attack. So up to 15% and 15% each for CA damage. So up to 45% CA damage. Interesting. <laughs> Surprisingly, it actually doesn't sound too bad though for a free collab type character. Alright, what you got for your EMP, you have skill cap, you have two crit, one fire attack. Oh wow, supplemental skill damage. Wait, how much is that? The TK? Wow. 10k each level? Wow, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> they actually look not bad, what the hell? <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's level them, I guess, for the hell of it. Oops. Uh, shit ring. Wow, alright. Good enough. 
うさ力が溢れてきやがる余計な力つけやがって余計な力つけやがってまた強くなっちまった余計な力つけやがって力が溢れてきやがる余計な力つけやがってまた強くなっちまった力が溢れてきやがって力が溢れてきやがって力が溢れてきやがって力が溢れてきやがって力が溢れてきやがってまた強くなっちまった余計な力つけやがって聞こえてんだけど。Um, HP doesn't seem that bad though for an attack base. 1500 base HP is actually alright too. Hmm. Guess I'll just give them this.、Uh, maybe I should give them defense? I, well, then again, they do get up to 50% defense on your S1. It can really be dispelled as well, so that's actually not too bad. Um, fuck it, I guess. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Fuck it, let's just go with that. Doesn't seem half bad, actually. They have guaranteed double attack, too. Wow, they, I, this is actually quite surprising, though, to be honest. <laughs> they actually look not bad at all, man. They actually really look not bad. Like, on paper, it looks really good <laughs> for a free character. Because I wasn't really ex having like, any expectations from this,、uh, these collab characters. Because we already kind of know how it kind of turned out to be for some of the old characters, either way. Like, especially even in collab, even. But this actually is not bad, alright. Instead of Kuvira, I use those guys for the hell of it, I suppose. I mean, if, if, I, if I were to use Kuvira, they are probably gonna be shit, so. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Lemon. Wow, just what I need. Sasuga, this Mr. Lemon. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the damage for the nukes is decent though. MC whiffed, man. I mean, yeah, it's kind of to be expected from the damage either way from the Ogi, so it's not really a big deal. But the, the skill damage is this, it's not bad though. And then on Ogi, it, it resets this too as well. So technically, you're pressing extra buttons, but you, you are dealing like what, 2 million? 2 million Ogi? I mean, 2 million nukes. So I guess technically, full auto is gonna be nice, right? Technically, I should just. Not, I should just do this though. I should just let it fall also. <laughs> Oof, MC. They look quite nice, man. I mean, the four skills to me is whatever, right? But. You know. <laughs> But it does look like it's another type of character where you you need to rely on someone provide meter, I suppose. Because you know they are kind of like free units. They are earning a lot of meter because of、uh, Anira, though. Oh, MC getting hit so much. I mean, really, though, for like a free character? 
I'm actually pleasantly surprised at what they can do. <laughs> It's really damn nice though. Oh, paralyzed. <laughs> oh, wait, it goes up to three turns too? I thought it was only two turns. Okay. Nice. See, you can paralyze this guy immediately top tier, right? Maybe because of Frau? Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. Or, or was it the... Or is it the old man? Oh, that's probably why. That's true. I forgot about that, yeah. I have those two in the back line. <laughs> oh, that's kind of neat, right? Three turns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's kind of neat having them in the back, uh, having her in the back line, right? For these guys. <laughs> I mean, to be fair though, there's really no. Re it's like if you already have those characters, there's really no reason for you to use well them. But they are actually relatively okay though. I mean, if you notice as well, their HP is not bad too, right? Like if you notice their HP, it's almost as high as Anira. It's even higher than Nemone's as well. Their base HP is actually not bad. Even though I, well, I guess I did manage to roll a decent amount of uh, stats on their rings, I suppose, but still. It's really nice. It, but yeah, I can kind of see why they separated into two different uh, skills, but. It's actually kind of nice, but at the same time, it would be nice if it was only one though, right? Isn't it? If it's like those two skills is just one, because you are actually essentially wasting more time having it allowed to press extra buttons, isn't it? Right? It's very very slow now because you have, you have to press two, but... It's kind of nice, in a way, to just have it separated too, in a way. It provides quite a bit though. Those two skills actually provides quite a bit to them. The the 50% the attack and defense stackable is really nice. Just not being able to dispel. And it's indefinite as well. So it's actually really nice. So it actually makes more sense just to have them in full auto too. And then because you know they are also technically well needing to have more meter, right? Their S2 provides some extra charge bar gain, right? How much was it? 45%, right? I saw it earlier. So it's actually nice to see that. Yeah, you get extra 45% meter. As you get, I guess you get more because of Anira as well, right? I'm assuming the default is 30%, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised, man. They're actually pretty fucking nice. For especially like, for players who are really just starting out because of this collab kind of thing. They can probably help you or help carry you relatively far, I would say. I mean like, put it this way. I'm quite certain you can actually just use them for your like, your solo Grimnir or some shit. Or at least help you uh, to get at least the, the confirm the MVP in Grimnir or something, right? I'm very certain they can. Like even though if you do not have like the likes of Nemone or Anira or something, I'm quite certain you can. Because essentially, right, what their roles are is basically just buffing up like crazy. So these two, what they're providing is just giving the consistency to the entire party. And well some debuffs. So essentially, right, you could actually just, you know, solve this issue. Like, I mean, not, it's not really an issue, but solve the uh, not having these characters by putting other characters into, them, into that slot with 
well similar similar type of um, how do I say like playstyle or the type of uh, utility they are actually providing you know say I, I would even say like having Athena in there is okay as well like sh you can basically solve this character's problem by having like the likes of Anturia, Athena yeah then uh, if you if you think if you need like a buffer or whatever you could even just use like um, Wait, who's a good buffer? I mean, Atira is a pretty good buffer too, in a way. Um, yeah, Guitar Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, there was there was someone that is a susceptible one. Yeah, that that that. Are you those guy? The fight, the Guitar Hero Man guy. That guy is actually a good a good buffer as well. If you just want to have like that consistency thing, and especially if you're using Anturia as well, all right. Antira and that guy is actually really really a good combination you can have both like you, they synergize really well together and uh, the Iodos can consistently keep up his hype really really well as well because of that so it's really really nice or if not you can just put Kupira in there <laughs> for more damage that works too <laughs> right yeah I'm very certain you can do relatively well with that if you have like those few subtickable characters and well, decent green and shit, I suppose. But yeah, I'm actually really surprised. This is great. The the only thing is I'm not sure how long are they gonna last though in like in terms of like the the power creep ish kind of thing, you know. But. All I can say is that for a free character, they probably can last you for quite some time. Like all the way until Magna 2. Even slightly further than that too, you could even say. Alright, let's see how much damage they're doing. Obviously it's a lot lower, but... I wouldn't say it's that bad though. I don't think that damage would be that bad now, would it? I hope not. <laughs> I mean, if you put it that way, yeah. It's actually quite nice to see them even slightly better, or well, slightly maybe nicer to use in comparison to like fucking, uh, what's his name? Like Rakam or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, see, the damage is actually not bad, right? Isn't it? Yeah, I have in the back line. Yeah, the, da the, the amount of damage they can do is actually not bad, though. It's just that, you look, look at the amount of... <laughs> look at the amount of skills they activated, though, compared to her and everyone else. Like, holy shit! <laughs> because they reset the two skills, man. They're resetting two fucking skills. They had to press so many buttons. See, that's that's. I would say that's like um, they're mostly their main problem though. They had to press so many buttons to be worthwhile. So yeah, it's a little bit slow, but I still think they're pretty damn nice though. Either way, their ogies, they're oging a whole lot more is also because of their skill too. Because the skill two gives forty five percent meter all thanks to her, which is supposed to be yeah thirty percent. <laughs> it's actually supposed to be thirty percent, but because. I have Anira here, if for those who didn't know, for those who are new boys obviously. This skill of hers, her third skill, does provide extra uh charge bar gain up. This one. So they do get a little bit extra. That's why in the game earlier, they are actually getting 45% instead of the usual 30%. But yeah. This one is pretty decent, I guess. It's not really like it's not really that like crazy good or whatever but it's kind of nice to have it's just like an extra nuke or whatever along the way kind of thing so it's just sure why not yeah so actually Antura is actually not bad so it's like you, you could even use like yeah both Antura and Athena as well excuse me so that way technically you don't really need to equip well I am using the seraphic weapon as my main hand just to get the extra fire attack buff but if you're using Athena I don't think I don't think you need that because Athena is essentially providing what Seraphic sword is providing. You do get the fire attack and wind dam uh, wind damage, uh, wind sh defense up and shit. Yeah, you just use that for the thing. But yeah, you, you see, you do actually get 
that. Because the, you get this, if I recall correctly, the wind attack down, uh, follow my break. And then this one is the base one. You get wind fire, I mean fire attack uh, up and armor effect. Armor effect is great, obviously. But yeah. Uh, that one is nice. I mean, technically, you can kind of use fire soshi as well. Because, you know, all this stuff. Fire so she kind of works. You can kind of use Zeta too, obviously. I mean, UL kind of works as well if you want a full auto. Like, yeah, her last and shit was also kind of okay. Yeah, then like I said earlier, this guy is actually not bad as well because this guy gives consistency because of uh, this thing. If you didn't know, hype hype buffs does do quite a bit. And then, um, yeah, obviously, Antura is going to be really, really nice because, you know, you get all this lovely stuff. If you want to go on a defensive side, just make sure you click on this before you go full auto, that is. So yeah. So you can actually choose, you want to go off like a little bit more offensive or more defensive uh, for Anturia. That's why it's kind of nice. Yeah. So there, there are quite a few other choices, the you know, subtickable choices that you can kind of use instead of, you know, and, uh, instead of well, what I was using earlier, the limited gang earlier. Anira and uh, Nemone. <laughs> you don't really need those characters. Technically, you could even use uh, UCS too for extra uh, uh, for extra just DPS. You could also use Fire Seek as well. Fire Seek is all relatively okay to cover up what uh, somewhat what uh, Anira is somewhat providing and shit for extra sustain and shit. Or yeah, uh, those few. I mean. Compared to this one, this one is not even that great now, if you think about it. These guys are definitely a lot more useful. Heck, you could even use this guy too, because this guy is subticable too. But yeah, I think, in my opinion, like... I feel like having uh, the likes of, uh, the like, Anturia or... Any other characters, you know, like, maybe... The likes of Athena, this guy, her... Or... Heck, technically, Asa works as well, or UL. These few ones... I, pro I was I was probably thinking like these few ones are relatively okay or much better to have anyway, you know, instead of the usual, you know, Anira and shit. The reason why I'm using Anira anyway is because of Magna shit anyway, so. <laughs> uh, technically, if you're primal, I am very certain you don't even need the likes of Anira anyway. But yeah, this is, this is just me saying like if you and you have like, say for example, you're lacking in a lot of... Uh, uh, limited characters and whatnot. So those characters are probably gonna be nice no matter what. Um, yeah. I mean, say not to mention like if you do even get like, <laughs> for some reason if you have like Frau domain up for some reason, <laughs> it really makes me think like well, why would you even want to use the character if you're already at that point, right? <laughs> but yeah, you get what I mean, right? So this guy's actually not bad. Not too bad, but from what I can see, they're only better off just being in the position where you want to use for full auto. I think outside of full auto, you don't really want to use them. Yeah. Okay. So, uh... That's, uh, that I would say that's my impressions for this boy, Sinshin Gumi, guys. We're not bad. Honestly, this thing... You can just ignore it, to be honest. I don't think this really matters at all because just CA standby is not really that big of a deal. But yeah, pretty nice, man. But yeah, either way, I think they're still going to be uh, just used only for full auto. That's that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys find this uh, video helpful in any way, shape, or form. I'll see you guys on the next video or on stream. <laughs>